What the heck did you do, Trevor? Another project. This is my new bass boat. It's a bass boat for now. I'm slowly gonna turn it into a catfish boat. Right now it's got a just a two-stroke 40 horse force. I'm definitely eventually gonna put probably a 60 horsepower mercury on it, four stroke. Just got this nice fluke anchor. It's only eight pounds, but I have seven feet of three-eighths chain on it, so pretty sure that should hold decent. And I just bought two rolls of 100 foot rope. Sportsmen's didn't have two of these for some reason. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd be using this right there. And we only had one. So I had to go to Home Depot to get this. I had to get chain anyway, so it wasn't a big deal. But I'm just gonna use this as my front anchor right now. Just got life vests right there that I'm gonna throw up here. It's got a trolling motor, obviously. It's got a Lowrance up front and a little Garmin in there. Yeah, the battery section is not utilizing the space very well at all. It's gonna drive me crazy. I'm gonna really wanna move probably both of them way over there and both uh, short side. So it only takes up like half of this instead of the entire thing. And I'll figure out how to put that anchor right there into here probably for right this second with the rope that's going to be a little interesting but it's got a live well in here a bunch of random drinks in it from the previous owner so <laughs> i have to take that out uh right now here's the center console it's got a little garment on it so nothing too special there's more wiring then I'm probably gonna have to redo switch panels okay uh, got a little rod storage in here that I just threw a random chair and umbrella in ideally I'd like to figure out how to put a bimini on this thing I don't know how easily that's gonna be especially with rods the plan is I'm gonna take these out so these this little step this one and this one are not factory so the previous owner put these in so what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to keep this lid and I'm going to, I ordered a cooler that's going to end up fitting in here and I'm going to take these out. So this little section here, it's like two feet wide and then from where it starts to here is like six and a half feet. So that's going to be like a perfect little sleeping spot and the reason I'm keeping the cooler in here is because this is like seven feet from right here to there. So those are really gonna be the only sleeping spots. This is gonna be definitely a one to two person max boat. But if I can clear this section out, that would be a perfect spot for one person and then another spot right here for a second person. So I'm gonna end up taking this out, this whole thing right here. There's not really any space underneath it and I'm pretty sure I can make room somewhere else for all of this stuff. That's one good thing about this boat is there's tons of storage. So there's this entire thing right here is in there. And then this guy, of course I threw a bunch of stuff on it, but I'm gonna end up having probably the trolling motor battery in here. And then both of these life jackets and the front anchor will all go right here. And I'm pretty sure that could fit easily. 
but other than that that's the rundown on the boat right now it's nothing too special but it's gonna be pretty sweet having a smaller boat we're gonna end up using it for random little exploration trips and tight water like river water fishing stuff like that places where this guy can't really go too easily so I have a another green kayak a smaller one that I'm gonna end up putting like right here while I'm driving the boat it's gonna be a hassle <laughs> and this thing needs a lot of work to be an actual good catfish rig I ordered six monster rod holders so I have a I'm probably gonna put two right here I'm gonna move this little guy probably onto here and then have this little section open for two and then I'm gonna basically move that one over there and probably put one here one here so that way there's two rods going that way two rods going that way and then in the front probably gonna put just one like right here again I'm gonna move these cleats onto there just so they're more sturdy and then put the other one right there but it's got a 55 pound trolling motor on it two fish finders fish finders are okay I'll end up upgrading them probably nothing too special but other than that, that's kind of the rundown on the boat right now. So another fun project. Keep you guys posted on upgrades and all that good stuff.